You know, there's nothing like being sent down to a polluted water planet and cleaning up all the garbage in the ocean, including some nasty microplastics. We're gonna need a fair bit of suction power for that. And the best part is we get to use bombs in a little bit. So we're gonna have fun with that. This might already look familiar to some of you, but I bet you didn't know that the game is in its 1.0 release right now. So make sure you pick it up on Steam using the link in the description. And as we always do, we just dump the red things in the red container, the green things in the green container, and it looks like there's a lot more items here as well. Like there's a tuna can over there. There was a two liter bottle right here. And there's some new containers right here, like electrical equipment and fruit. Very nice. What's not nice though is apparently I missed something. Found it. And now the game wants us to find Ripple Reef, but we've done that already. Why don't we go and find a new area that we can play with? And looking at the map, it's over this way. So I wonder hmm. what's over here in this left part of the map. Just got to zip on over there with what little oxygen I have and then find it. Picking up some trash on the way and also cleaning up all the goop from these big coral stalks here. I think this is coral. It might be kelp. It's green, so I'm guessing it's kelp, and it has fruit for us already. Some star kelp. Aha, I knew it was kelp. Don't need to be a marine biologist to recognize the green stuff and know that you probably won't like it. And we also have some crates up here, but we need to upgrade our bubble gun first. Let's find the area and see what we have to work with. It should be coming up here. I'm definitely seeing some new spots. And it looks like our first level of electrical waste. Right over here. It's an electronic bit. And that unlocked a new order at the shipping station. Oh, and the sea just got a whole lot more purple. This area is nasty. It's the Tango Bay. Thanks, I can tell the game to stop telling me to do areas I've already done in the video. Make sure you check out that one if you haven't already. And we just clean up some more goop around the area. Oh, fun little cave. <gasps> and there's the first of the little lotto knots. Oh, fun little friend. Oh, he's so cute. I can check on him. Status, goopy, feeling goopy. Too goopy to eat. Oh, it's so sad. Thankfully, we can just clean up all this little scrap mess and everything else in here like fancy balls and glass jars don't worry little buddy we'll clean up your home oh my this is nasty air right here i oh it actually makes my thing go staticky weird but we need to rush this guy back home before he contaminates anything else and i could also use a fresh dose of air hopefully you're not spreading goop on anything else i'm avoiding swimming over any other plants except for you know these tiny little spots on the ground but he shouldn't be contaminating them too bad we just gotta be very careful about this oh and rush back into the home base which is thankfully just right here come down through the ceiling friend okay so now at least i can breathe and then if we just bring you over to this little hoop right here have you swim through through it he's all clean yay oh i love i love these little things they're so adorable and he's happy but he's also hungry but for right now why don't you we see if you like the star kelp oh he likes his new home i just got an achievement i think i found his favorite food check on him yeah his favorite food is star kelp and he's already grown 30 percent oh you're so amazing why don't you stay here so you don't get dirty again and then i can see what orders are available at this kiosk one of them should help me get rid of those crates. Yeah, blaster module, which I need some red ingots to do that. Ooh, a zap efficiency module or something like that. And a scrap vac, tool build for collecting clouds of microplastics. Ah, so that's what I swam through. We'll need to collect a lot more trash in order to fund that. So let's just dump it into the machine like we do. Fancy bottle goes in the green and it's almost filled up to the top. And then so is this glass jar. Oh, it doesn't like that very much. Oh, right, because it goes in here. Why is it gotta be blue and not go in the blue thing? But hey, now the bar is full. So we get a little green nugget here, a glass bit. And I believe we can also feed the star kelp to this machine here, and I'll fill up that. And it looks like we need those electric parts to make the scrap back, so we'll hang on to those. Time to go back to that area and collect some other scrap, while also picking apart these trash bags here, because they have lots of goodies in there. Yeah! Well, they're not goodies for the ocean, they're goodies for me. Also, this cup grew back really fast. My little buddy's gonna love this. And I think I'm also seeing a lot more just electric electrical bits out in the open here like these weird shopping containers that have fruit in them kelp parts interesting is this robot gonna come alive once i clean it it's a weird little crab thing that isn't working anymore that's funny but there's a lot of microplastics here and thankfully we're able to do quite a bit over here before i need to go back for air and eventually we will be able to upgrade our oxygen capacity is there another little lottle in this cave Hello there. <gasps> there is hello i see you hello yeah there you are 
Come with me. I have someone to show you. Also, man, those microplastics are everywhere. We're just going to take a shortcut back to the base by hopping over these rocks here, going into clean water, swim through here and get squeaky clean, little Lottle. Ah, oh, he's so cute. I can't get over how cute they are. Although now I have two Lottles named Lottle, so why don't we just rename you to bottle. That's actually really fitting. Now, why don't I just show you this thing to see if you like it? You're going to munch on this? You're hungry, right? Do you like it? No! Do you not like it? Do you like the star kelps? I'm giving you a whole buffet here. Can you pick something that you like? There, now you're going to eat it. Yum, blink your lights at a lottle. Ooh! And they got me a crafting recipe. Wait, a lottle toy? Oh, no way. I can make a little bouncy ball for them. And a rope toy. <laughs> made of more trash. Oh, this game is so cute. Right now, let's use all these kelp hearts and see what we get from the purple machine. Ah, organic bits. I like these. I also like just putting everything in here so I don't have to worry about it again. Now, where does scrap metal go? Does it go in here by chance? It does. Ooh, and that's worth a lot. And there's our first red nugget there. Metal bit. But the scrap pack needs six of those and a lot of other things. Thankfully, there's a lot over there that we can work with. And there's also, you know, just a bunch of nastiness on the way that will help us out a lot. And these plants give little air bubbles to us so we can work over there a lot longer than before. We just gotta clean the plants that do that. And yum, delicious air. It doesn't offer much, but you know, it's something. Just cleaning up a lot more of these, collecting the kelp parts as we do. And what is this over here? It's like a shiny little ID card. Could you perhaps have some free tech for me? Collect it. Hollow badges. Hey, look at that. It's like a weird alien blitz. Okay, while I'm over here eating all the air bubbles, let's go ahead and put out a scan to see all the red bits that are in the area. Whoa, and there's a lot of them. Oh, and it shows me the clouds of microplastics too. Cool. And thankfully, all the air bubbles fill me up right to the top. And oh, another little lottle in here. Hello. I heard that you have scrap metal for me. Right over here. Beautiful. Now, we'll take quite a bit to get you cleaned up. So right now, why don't you just follow me around while I'm still working here? And thankfully, I can get these things. Oh, no, he poisoned a plant. Don't do that. I was just saying how I can get the trash that's in the microplastics without having to go in the microplastics. And oh, no, don't swim over these. You're going to poison them again. Okay, looks like he avoided poisoning those. I should get you home so you stop following me. You're cute, but you're a liability. I can't believe I already found three of these little lottles. I'm starting a collection. And the reach charge ring does give me oxygen as well so we can just speed on right to you booyah Ooh, there's a lot more cans out here don't mind if i do we're just gonna go ahead and steal all of those and clean up all of these little pallets here not going too far over here just enough to collect the trash that i can see and there's the coral pairs that we need to make the toys oh the little lottles are gonna be so happy welcome to your home sweet home now tell me do you like this i think he does he likes it. He likes it a lot. I found your favorite food. And since I have a lot of it, let's see if we can just get you filled up and starting to grow. Oh, and it looks like he's full before he got the last one. Well, that's a good thing. Although feeding them takes quite a bit. So it would be beneficial to me to get this cooking module figured out as soon as I can. And that means dumping a lot of food into this little thing here. Fill it up once and then twice. Can we do it a third time? Oh, yeah, we can do it quite a bit. How much does that give us? Seven? Wow! We did really good there. And we have our first little plastic bit here. And all the glass creates two new bits for us. And then we dump all the scrap metal in. Big bolt should give us quite a bit. And the scrap metal on top of it all for two more bits. So we have three now. I think that means we actually can get something. Like the blaster module here. Enables the destruction of reinforced materials. We'll definitely need this. So let's do it. And materializes. Open it. Open it. It's like Christmas. Yeah! So now we can take this bad boy over to a crate like this one. And destroy the little corners. So we can just zap it open and... Hiya! Ooh, lots of metal inside, including a whole metal bit. Oh, that's amazing. I need to break open more. These poor little crates just left to abandon, causing so much trouble. Ooh, plastic jugs. So if we can get a good concentration of crates found, then we should be able to get a little bit of everything. And hopefully it's just more metal. Although we will need a little bit of everything to get the vacuum that I want. I'm just glad we're able to collect so much of this. And boom. Hey, glass. Too bad it doesn't help cleaning up 
the goop that's just coating everything. Thankfully, my little zapper is very proficient at doing that as is, and it's super satisfying. So now that the dome is all cleaned of the surface level goop, we just need to worry about the microplastics. And also, you know, just how much air we're breathing. Ah, uh, the microplastics really mess up things. At least they don't mess up me collecting the crates like I do. I should be able to make the vacuum in no time with all of this. I don't know how there are so many crates down here, but they're doing really good things for me. And then I'm trying to remember what it takes to craft those toys for the Lottles. I know one of them needed three metal cans, but the other one was a bouncy ball, and I'm not sure what that one needed. But look at that. I already have seven metal bits. That's enough to make the vacuum. And then I probably have enough of a whole lot of other things. But let's just finish out these crates over here and see where that puts us. Now we just do a quick little scan past all the other junk to see that I think we got all the crates. What is this up here? It's an electric bit. Dibs. And sure enough, it looks like that's all of the crates over here in the Tangle... Uh, Tangle Bay. That's it. Oh, wait, there's one over there that was just out of scanning range. Although if I'm correct, then you're the only one left. Give me the goods. Yeah! So many big bolts. I have 16 big bolts already and surprisingly no cans. I guess cans isn't something you would find in those crates, so I need more plastic bags. Or trash bags, they're not necessarily plastic. Ooh, and on the way home, there's more crates over here. I'm guessing the color of the crate means what trash is inside. This one's green, and it gives me glass. That's a nice little indicator. I like it. That's what I love so much about this game is this incredibly cute art style. Hey, here's a trash bag. They should have a can in here. Well, there's... Tin cans, not the aluminum ones like I need. Oh, I actually have a full inventory. Well, that's tragic. I'll be right back. Now, before I deposit all this stuff, let's see what we need to make some things for the lottles, like a cooking module. I can make that. Enables preparation of lottle snacks at the crafting station. Oh yeah, this looks totally fun. Open up that module there, yeah! Can now cook lottle snacks. Oh, tell me the secrets. Tropical jelly, coral nut bread. Ah, oh, these are so amazing. Okay, so this needs a soda bottle and coral pears. Otherwise I can make it. But otherwise what I can make. Oh, I just need a bit more glass. Well, not glass, plastic. Thankfully utility jugs aren't used for anything. And they give a lot back. Ta-da! Now it should be the only one that I need. Yeah, the scrap back is here. Gimme, 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 gimme. Aha, the scrap back is acquired. So we just open up the equipment and oh, look at the size of this thing. And it just goes brrrr. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with that. My goodness, I didn't realize I had so many fancy bottles to recycle. 20 of them, plus a few more glass bottles of the normal variety. And that gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. Also 22 big bolts. These fill up the meter quite a lot. Oh yes, I love seeing all the different colors. Okay, so the game is telling me to collect 3,000 microplastics. Not too sure how fast that meter is going to fill up with it all, but I'm just gonna grab this trash can over here because hopefully it has cans in it. Yes, two of them. I just need one more to make that toy. And I almost didn't recognize that I was over here. The area is looking a lot cleaner already. But sadly, the ocean is still purple. So let's just pull out the scrap back. And oh yeah, sucking in all the microplastics. Wow, that almost filled up the objective completely. This thing is effective. Just... <laughs> oh, vacuuming is so much fun. I don't know why I enjoy vacuuming in games so much. But look! The ocean is already a whole lot cleaner. Oh, that's amazing. Just shucking it all up and getting rid of all the cloudiness that gets on my radar because of those things. And I can't vacuum anymore. Does this thing get full? It must have. Well, we can do some normal cleanup now. Hopefully these planes don't get hindered too badly by the microplastics that I can't get yet. They still seem to be able to grow fruit, so that's a good thing. Just zapping away all the goo as my air is about to run out. But it's worth it, because I can just clean up these little things over here and get a fresh supply. Now, since I need to go back anyway to empty the vacuum, or at least I'm guessing that's what I need to do, let's see if we can find a trash bag somewhere that'll have another can in it. Aha, and I see you right over there. Ooh, that can just floating out in the open. Now we should have quite a few things to make the toys for the lottles. And I can already see just how much cleaner this area is. Not over there, we don't talk about that, but over here. And then cleaning up this should give us the coral pears that we need to make one of the other toys. Yeah, right there. 
Okay, so now if we return home with the vacuum, I wonder, can we just dump it all into the plastic thing here? Yeah, deposit the microplastics. Oh, there's so many of them. This is filling up the bar so much. Oh my goodness. Just take it all. Nom, 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 nom. We get so many goodies from this. I love it. And then it unlocked a new thing over here. A capacity module. So we can have more. Hmm. Can I afford that right now? That takes all the plastic that I have. Or we'll worry about that later. Right now we can make the rope toy. So let's craft it. And it all goes to spinning. And look at that. It's the toy that I actually can't collect. It just goes right out the backside. Oh, and my lottles are looking a little sad. I think they're hungry. What can I make for them? Ooh, I can make a pollinator bomb. That'd be good. And that's really the only thing I can make. That's okay. We can feed them the old-fashioned way. Do you like coral pears, little one? I don't think he does. He's not really reacting in a good way. Ah, because your favorite food is kelp hearts. Also, your name is Waddle. I don't like that. We'll name you Waddle. Wait, 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 wait. Waddle. <laughs> There we go. Perfect. Don't worry, little guy. I have plenty of kelp hearts for you. My goodness, how hungry are you? You're eating so many of these things. There, now he's looking better. And he's growing little ear tufts. I love these things. Can I just vacuum you up? I guess not. Okay, one thing I think will definitely help me is using this recharge ring over there. There, now we have a recharge ring. And then maybe see if we can help out these other lottos a little bit. Hi there. Did I figure out your favorite food? I don't remember. Star kelp. Thankfully, I have a few of these. Go ahead and enjoy those. You're the one I couldn't figure out the food for. Do you like coral pears? I guess not. You're pretty picky. Okay, we can also upgrade the oxygen capacity. That'd be good for us. Perfect. So it goes from 75 to 100. That means more time cleaning up the area. So let's just focus on cleaning up all of the goop that's here still. And also just vacuum up all the microplastics. I love how efficient this is. It just gets everything. And there's all these small pockets of microplastics that are very easy to deal with. And I think that's all we can get there before that's filled up. Maybe another small cloud is able to be filled. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we got it. Now we'll just get these big chunks of goop. And we still have so much oxygen available to us. It's amazing. Oh, the ocean just got a little brighter. We're really making a difference. Striving for 100% cleanliness. And right now we're at 71% cleanliness. Okay, now the game is telling me I'm about to have breathing problems. But there's still so much for us to collect. So thankfully we can just put in this recharge ring that we made. And it slowly builds itself. Very slowly. Can you hurry it up? Ta-da! And now we can refill our oxygen at any time. So we can get right on back to cleaning. I can't imagine there's a lot of that goop left. Let's go ahead and send out a quick scan. All right, I am seeing some things, but there's more goop amidst all these crab robots. It's really too bad we can't get these crab robots working again. They look like they were here for a good thing. Harvesting all these berries and such. And I believe this is the last of the goop piles. Then again, there are also those structures up there. Not really sure if these things count for this area, but we'll go ahead and get them anyway. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And there's also these crates up here that we can just go ahead and harvest. Lots of goodness in there. A lot of fancy bottles. And the only thing I seem to be noticing anymore is more of these microplastic clouds. Oh, and also a tuna can in here I seem to have forgotten about. Nope. That I don't have room for. Nice. Well, at least we cleaned up all the goop in the area. And we have a lot that we can bring home. Oh, what the? What is that little mouth you're doing? You are huge. Oh, he's sad and starving. But he's jumbo now. That's okay, you little jumbo. I have lots of cow parts for you because I know they're your favorite. So now we just need to feed the machine, as it were. So much. I lost track of how many times that filled up. Eight times. That is a very quick way to fill up our supplies. And let's just go ahead and upgrade our scrap back capacity so we can get more of those plastics. All right, you don't think I forgot about you. So now that all the material trash is out of the way, get here. We just go ahead and vacuum up all the plastics in the air that we can't even function in. Oh, and our vacuum is a different color too, so it can hold more. And just being able to swim through this cloud and suck it all up is so satisfying. And I know there was another cloud of plastic in here. Plus of all, I guess. Bzz. All right, now unless I'm mistaken, the last bits of plastic should be right here. I'm full? Again? Goodness gracious, this is a lot of plastic. Let's see how much it gives us. So I think this is 12. Oh my goodness, that's so much. I can use all this to increase my boost duration. 
and some more oxygen, which gives me 25 more oxygen. So now we just get up here with 150 oxygen to our name, and then we boost. Okay, now I should be able to get the rest of the plastic here. There's not a whole lot left. And then if we get this last tin can right here, we're at 99%. So wait, ni only 99%? Oh, over there? How is there still so many things that I miss? All right, but this bottle should signify 100%. Aha! A new shipping order is available. Hello, shipping order. What do you have for me? A new structure? A light beacon. Neat. So I don't get lost. But now, whoa. What is that? It's a floating mass of something. Can I scan it? Ooh, I scan these guys. I'm really worried about what you are, but I want to touch it. Oh, there's another one. What the? This is weird. Can I vacuum you? No, I can't. I can't zap it either. Well, the lottles don't seem to mind. How are you so big? Whoa! Oh, it just popped! Look at that! It's a new lottle! Hi! You look like a catfish! And he comes in with all his stuff ready. Aw, whiskers! I'm gonna name you Coddle because I just wanna coddle you and give you all the good things. Like, whatever. Whoa! Hi! It's here for the star kelp. Well, you're just in luck. I have a lot of those left. Oh, and there's another one. It's a big long boy. Wait, that's bottle? There's no way you're bottle. So this is what it looks like when the lottos grow up. So that was Lotto. He's a siren. So that's why he's singing out. Oh, it's so cute. How do I still not know what your favorite food is? I have so many things for you. Do you just eat organic bits? Nope. No, I don't think anything does. Not if it looks like that. I still want to pet one. How do I pet one? All right, but the other objective we have is to bring a clean Lotto to a natural habitat. So hi, Lotto. I'm sorry for renaming you. I forgot who you were. There, that's a Lotto I've known to care about. Why don't you follow me? Oh? Oh, there I pet him! Oh my gosh, this is the cutest thing ever. And I got a new recipe? What? Tell me what it... Oh, a kelp chew. It's a new toy. Oh, and a little lotto, buddy. But the fact that I can do that is amazing. I need to pet all of them. Come here. You know you want it. Oh, yeah. Who's a good chungus? Look at you. Come in here for a good petting. Ah, oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I shall bring you all to your lovely new home where I found you. Waddle is so big, he's covering up the other two. It looks like he's got a little red tail. It's so funny. Here we are, friends. Home sweet home. Hope you like it. So you can stay here, and so can you, and so can you. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. I absolutely love this game. It is so adorable. And I'm willing to bet you guys will enjoy it too, now that it's got full release status. And I believe that is a good point to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed Lotto Not. If you did, then make sure you use the link in the description to check out the full release on Steam. For every copy of the game that is sold, Secret Mode, the publishers of the game, will be donating five pence to Whale and Dolphin Conservation, which is a charity that helps whales and dolphins survive in the wild. It's really cool that they're doing that, so I do hope you check out the game and support the conservation efforts. So big thanks to Seeker Mode for sponsoring the video and thank you for watching. Sub to intern. And thank you channel members including Bread, Mr. Cripple 1, Ancient Elixir 1, Corby Farm, Dakota C, Donomoto, Deviant X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Splatter Sax, Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Harold, Peggy Sue, Drupalong, TJ, Seriously Sarcastic, Angels, Lily Bites, Levi, and the Minor Within.